Yep. No. Um, I don't have a transition. <laughs> don't have done. A... Well, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, uh... Oh, speaking of bodyguards for young blonde women. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Our classic uh, movie review for the day is the Denzel Washington mid 2000s movie man on fire yeah um i i uh saw this i watched this movie when i was in college mm -hmm. um which was would have been right around when the movie came out um and every like okay so like the 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 men's dorm that i lived in in college mm -hmm. like every guy in that dorm just loved this movie they just <laughs> thought it was just one of the best movies they'd ever seen of course keep in mind every uh, all the movies that we watched in that dorm were either action movies or raunchy comedies <laughs> <So>. <laughs> sounds like a balanced uh, cinematic diet uh, yes <laughs> but um but i i remember watching this movie you know almost close to 20 years ago and thinking it's okay <laughs> <laughs> not great but it was okay so daniel did that it, it's okay opinion largely keep uh it may it may be a little bit better than i remembered it but there was still some stuff in there that i'm kind of like oh i don't like that oh what's why is that in there why is why are they why is that happening I'm like uh. yeah um, i read up i read up on this and apparently it's very true to the novel it's based on like the the writer of the novel who had written it in like 1980 and uh tony scott had been trying to adapt this thing since the early 80s so he finally got to make the movie Oh wow! Uh, uh, he the, he was very pleased with the how the the screenplay was adapted. Yeah, I'm, I mean it's yeah it's it's a de it's a good story. Um, it's just um, some some of the uh, e um, editing choices that were made were a little questionable. Um, yeah, yeah. So to get into the story. Uh, okay. Denzel Washington plays Creasy, who is a what, former CIA guy, was it? Marine? A CIA, yeah. That's it. Should have stuck with my gut. Uh, former <laughs> CIA operative, alcoholic, haunted by what he saw. Mm -hmm. and, uh, he, and he gets invited to Mexico by his friend, play Christopher Walken. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because uh, the, the the movie actually opens with a rather brutal scene of a somebody being taken hostage, having his ear cut off, and sent as proof of life, and then just being left to wander around in traffic with his arm. Yeah. I believe he was also tied up. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was duct taped. Uh, yeah, like yeah. his eyes and and wrists were duct taped, and yeah, he was like yeah. a he was like the son of some real rich guy and it was it was obvious kidnapping for ransom thing and yeah um yep. so uh there's been a rash of kidnappings in mexico city and so people with money and influence are worried about their families because you know the trouble is that once the first guy pays the ransom uh you've now legitimized it as a way to make money by everybody right yeah yeah and um oh sorry go ahead no, I wasn't saying anything. Okay, yeah. So then, um, then we enter. Um, uh, I, I can't remember the the uh, the the character's name, but you have got um, Mark Anthony, um, who is uh, a businessman in Mexico City, and he's got a, a wife and daughter, uh, and uh, he needs to keep this insurance policy uh, for for kidnappings. Um, but uh, and he has to keep it going, um, you know, in order. To, but in order to keep it going, uh, I'm not explaining this very well. Uh, he he needs a, to hire a bodyguard, right? He 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 takes out an, uh, an insurance policy on the daughter mm -hmm. against kidnapping, but as part of the terms for that policy, he needs a bodyguard to, you know, it's like you know, if you, well, I, I have anti theft insurance. Yeah, but you kind of don't lock your door when you leave at night, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Similar idea. And so like the, the first half hour, 40 minutes or so. Yeah. Is dedicated to uh, Creasy, who is initially rather cold and, you know, 
absolutely does not want to have any sort of relationship with a daughter who's played by Dakota Fanning at her peak adorableness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and slowly he, uh, he you know, she wears him down and wears him down and wears him down. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to the point where like, he, he goes to a swim meet with her after he spent weeks training her and the, the nun there says, well, you know, for, for today you're her father. Yeah. For purposes of, uh, you know, being there for the swim meet. Yeah. Um, and then she gets kidnapped. Yeah. And um, I, I think I said on Discord at the time in this fight scene, oh, bullshit, he survives that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, one of those, uh, I think one of the, the one that went inside, I think that was like in his liver or close to his liver, wasn't it? Which considering he'd been killing it with alcohol because he was haunted, man, that, that liver was not on, you know, that liver was already on borrowed time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like he, he got shot to hell, but he took down a lot of them with him. Yeah. But she still got kidnapped. And, uh, well, it looks yeah. like everything is going to go okay. Mm -hmm. And then somebody steals the money that's being delivered to the kidnappers. Yes. And um, and then uh, they call in and say that the girl was dead. And um, now, uh, and the Denzel is, uh, or Creasy is forced to, you know, he's he's in a hospital under arrest. By the because right. two, two of the two of the people he killed were cops, right. off-duty cops who had a history of corruption. Yeah, who, yeah. Who showed up in their police car. Yeah. At the time of this kidnapping, what a, what a funny coincidence. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, and then um, uh, then uh, Christopher Walken and uh, another guy who works with uh, I think he was with Interpol. Uh, they uh, they get him out of the hospital and they put him in this little rinky dink you know hospital like run down place uh so he can heal up but he says no i want to go out and uh he wants to avenge the little girl and boy denzel just goes out there and uh he there's a reason this movie's rated r he's just yeah. he's just on a bloody mission of vengeance Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He's kind of you know the, like a, the, a John Wick archetype character. He's too mad, too angry to die. Yep. Yeah. You, you don't do two things. You don't kill. You don't kill John Wick's dog, and you don't kill Dakota Fanning when there's a <laughs> <laughs> just in general. Yes. Um, yeah, and so yeah, he's going around just going on a bloody rampage, and uh, including uh, one instance where he literally blows a guy's ass up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, so I, I think that if we keep going, we'll we'll deviate into spoiler territory. We can talk spoilers yeah. in a second. So, from like a production standpoint, you know what this actually reminded me a lot of? What? Ang Lee Hulk. Yeah. It was the it was the mid two thousands. Everybody suddenly had these new digital editing tools. And everybody wanted to see what they could do with them. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, this was definitely Tony Scott being experimental. Right. Like so, so where, Ang Lee, where Ang Lee tried to make it look like an actual literal comic book. Mm -hmm. um, you had uh, Tony Scott was doing weird things like... Uh, like when they were, when they did translations, like because it takes place in Mexico City, I think we mentioned that. Yeah, if we did, yeah. it takes place in Mexico City, so people are speaking Spanish frequently. The subtitles weren't ever in like the normal position you'd expect subtitles to be in. Yeah, but the shot was framed so that the person was like at like the one third mark, and then like the words would be kind of floating around their mouth level. Yeah, there were there were yeah there were a lot of movies in the two thousands that were doing that. I remember. Um, okay. And even in the 2010s, I remember uh, Star Trek in the Darkness did that with the uh, when they were translating the Klingon. They never the, saw that the, one, so I'll take your word for it. Well, you're not missing anything, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the good Khan movie. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> so, um, and just like a lot of intercutting, like there was some shakiness. There was just like you'd have scenes imposed on top of each other at different transparencies. Mm 
yeah uh color grading stuff yeah weird color grading going on yeah yeah like he he was trying every trick in the or he basically it, it's like he sat down with a tutorial on adobe after effects or something like that or whatever the software would have been at the time yeah. so, i want to try that 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 <laughs> Actually, no, Adobe After Effects is the wrong one. Uh, Premiere Pro. It's like he sat down yeah. with Premiere Pro and wanted to do every single trick it could pull. Yeah. Yeah. And there, and there was nobody there like, uh, like say, his brother to tell him, um, you probably don't want to do that. Slow down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the tricks will still be their next movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, interestingly, I, I looked this up. This movie actually has 39% on Rotten Tomatoes. Hmm. Um, and I, I think, and I, it seems like the, um, the, the, the critics at the time thought it was overly brutal. Like they, uh, like they didn't like the, like how sadistic he was in his uh, quest for vengeance. Wow, uh, that, that, I guess that shows the uh, the 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 time uh, the people's attitudes when this movie came out. Because <laughs> nowadays yeah. it's like, all right, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, um, I have to admit, I kind of fell in with them because mm -hmm. first off, this is a very long movie. It's two and a half hours long. Yeah, it, yeah, it was too long. Yeah, they they could have easily trimmed about twenty minutes out of it. <laughs> yep. And by about the hour and a half mark where he was like on his way cutting through people, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I get it. You're the Punisher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he, well, he also kind of reminded me of um, like Jack Bauer from 24. Mm. Like, I, I guess that's why that, that part of aspect of it didn't bother me because I, I mean, I was watching 24 at the time and, and, and I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, Jack Bauer does that every week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also got to admit that the, element where she was just outright dead made me less interested because it's like as you're watching it's like if you think that she oh oh he's trying to save this little girl like that's tension that's yeah that and i did keep thinking right before they declared that she was dead uh man you know he's is she gonna is she still gonna be alive weeks from now when he's ever able to actually get out of that hospital bed after that after he got blown half to bits yeah it's like oh Okay, I guess they I guess that's how they solved the time problem by, uh, yeah. by not having her dead. <laughs> or by, yeah. by having her dead. Yeah. Um so like it didn't really speak to me. Uh um yeah, um I, I, I kinda get that. Yeah. I mean it's it's I mean the it, I, I kind of like the whole, you know, like revenge aspect of it and just, you know, him getting back at, at all the people that were responsible for it, for, you know, kidnapping the girl. But I mean, it, but yeah, it, it um, there were certainly parts of it that I'm kind of like, oh, and that's, you know, like, okay. They, it, they'll occasionally have like a scene and they, they would ha have a scene in there where uh, he swim in the swimming pool and you see that you can see him slowly bleeding to death and I, i'm sitting there going okay like you know Cut. yeah like i don't think he would survive that long <laughs> as long as he did like yeah yeah uh, yeah there, there were a few bits that kind of strained strained credulity yeah um also, the soundtrack was also reminded me of um, uh, of Angley's Hulk. Man, yeah, two thousands movie people, and I had forgotten this until I'd seen these two movies. Were just in love with vaguely Middle Eastern style warbling soundtracks. Yeah, yeah. Well, and and uh, especially well, you know, going right to like uh, to Ridley Scott, you know, the, mm. with Gladiator. Actually, I think the same singer. <laughs> and doing that also did Gladiator. <laughs> Sounded exactly the, like the same woman. Yep, so that was. Uh, so I think that. I think that that kind of sums up the non-spoiler thoughts we had. 
I, yeah. I, I wasn't into it. I can see where you would be, but I kind of have to side with the critics on this one that it's a bit overindulgent with a lot of its scenes and it kind of outstays its welcome. Mm. I think that there's like a hour, maybe not an hour and a half cut, but there'd be like a two hour cut that would have probably kept my interest more. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe start the movie with him, uh, working for you know actually already or maybe start the movie with him already working for the family yeah like that that would be a way you could cut some time you also cut i, I get that you want to you, you don't need 40 minutes with dakota fanning to make us love dakota fanning she she yeah. she's adorable like cool although i, I kind of see like where they wanted it to be like a reluctant caring about her yeah so it's it's hard to decide what I would cut, but I feel like that's something needed to be cut. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I can see that. Yeah. Now, spoiler thoughts in. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. She wasn't dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you find that out like in the last fifteen minutes. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, because yeah, as the as the person running the ring goes, uh, oh, you know, uh, you know, a, a dead body is nothing, but a, a live girl is worth something. Yeah. So uh, yeah, he was obviously planning on trafficking her in some way. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You, you also find out that her dad was doing an insurance fraud or attempted insurance fraud thing. Right. Yeah, and um, his business was in trouble, basically. Yeah um and yeah he so he was he and the and his lawyer who was played by um mickey rourke yeah they concocted mm -hmm. the whole scheme to to do the yeah the the basically fake the kidnapping but it didn't it didn't go the way that they were hoping yeah no because <laughs> uh their, their stuff got intercepted mm -hmm. um yeah so so in the end uh the villains make the uh deal hey you know because of course you know Creasy has just been just demolishing their whole network. Mm -hmm. uh, so he goes, you know, we will release the girl if you give me back my brother, who he's he had kidnapped and blasted off his fingers. I believe it was it yeah, was yeah, a lot, a lot of hand mutilation in this movie. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but you return my brother to me and give yourself over to us to do, you know, for us to uh, to kill you, and we will give you back the little girl. Mm -hmm. And so that proceeds to happen with no twist. Yeah. And then, yeah, they, they put him in the car and he, he fades away. Yep. Um, and then they have like a what happened later thing where it's like, oh, and, you know, the next year they were picked up in a series of arrests. Because I think, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which I almost wonder, because it wasn't based on a real story. So it's not like they would have that to go off of. You almost wonder if like that was like a studio note. Ending's too sad. Make it clear that the bad guys get theirs later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It film, quickly film a scene here where it shows the bad guy getting shot in the head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so I'll say performance-wise, Dakota Fanning, adorable at this age. Mm -hmm. um, I was joking before the show. Uh, oh, should we get her some braces? No, the crooked teeth are part of the appeal, darn it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, uh, Denzel he acts his ass off in this one mm -hmm. he usually does <laughs> yeah. like, personally speaking the, the character didn't really speak to me just because again it's like uh, this, this movie is just kind of unremittingly grim yeah uh, and and uh, yeah, that was obviously the the tone that that Tony Scott was going for with it. Very intentional. It's not like they did it by mistake. It just wasn't what I was after. Right. But yeah. Denzel did it well. Yeah. And really, all the performers do it well. Uh, I, I kind of thought that the that Dakota's mother was maybe overacting a little bit. I, I think so. Yeah. I, I can't remember the that actress's name, but God, she she was popping up everywhere in the in like the two thousands. Like it seemed like she was in a bunch of movies. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, um, 
a, a somewhat flawed action movie. Uh, it's it's kind of interesting that um, I have this reaction to it because considering that you know it's not like in Death Wish, which we really enjoyed. Um, it's not like he's has anybody he's actually saving in Death Wish. Mostly, you know, it's like yeah, it is just an act, an act of vengeance. But it, it it had much more humor to it, and it had um, and it also had almost an exactly ninety minute runtime. So maybe that's the secret. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, that movie was an was an hour shorter than, than this one, and it was actually, you know, I, I think more relatable too, because, um, uh, yeah, because uh, in Death Wish he was, you know, kind of an every, kind of an everyman, not not right. upper class everyman, but upper class everyman, yeah. And then, and this, you know, Denzel is like a like a superhero, you know, yeah, practically, you know, practically, like, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it was an interesting experience. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I I think I enjoyed it maybe a little more than you did, but uh, yeah, it it, uh, it was just yeah, there was there was just some stuff in there that I you know, like I said, like the it, him slowly bleeding to death and and mm -hmm. the you know, it 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 is it is slow, uh, slow paced, mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I yeah. which I seem to recall that the first time I watched it, and yeah. But I can also see why a bunch of uh, guys in a dorm, probably with a few brews on hand, would have fun egging each other. Oh man, you see what he just did with his hand? Oh, that's that's hardcore, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, he he put a bomb up that guy's ass. Oh, that's that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah.